we're here in Sturgeon Bay, Wisconsin, outside of Friends Community Church. Friends Community Church is known because this was the place where George Benner, back in 1913, performed a duet of a new song that he had written. That song was called The Old Rugged Cross. George Benner grew up in Ohio. His dad worked in a coal mine and owned a bar. Later they moved to Iowa, where his dad died when he was young. George Bennard was left to help support his family, his mother, his siblings. Later on, though, he was converted in a Salvation Army meeting. He met his wife, and they served with the Salvation Army, and later became an evangelist with the Methodist Church. While they were traveling around the country, they were preaching this message. But after one revival, he came under some persecution. Some of the youth in the area were mocking him, especially his talk about this, this cross and how we got to be concerned in giving our lives to Jesus. That mockery, that persecution bothered him. He was sunk into a little bit of a depression. As it, he was wrestling, and God laid upon him the, the message of the cross. George Bennard was praying about it, seeking to understand, to study the Bible, what it talked about the cross. What did it mean to take up your cross and follow Jesus? What did Paul mean when he said, I'm crucified with Christ? And as George Bennard thought on it and meditated and prayed and sought the Lord, some words came to him. He penned those words, and as he shared it with his wife, his wife began crying. This was a powerful song. He performed the first verse of the song at the end of a meeting he had in Michigan. Later, he came to Wisconsin in 1912, here at the Friends Church. And here, he performed a duet after he had written a few more of the verses to the song we know now as the Old Rugged Cross. Here in the church's uh, backyard here, we have the monument. You see the giant wooden cross, along with the plaque that says, most popular and widely accepted Christian hymn, The Old Rugged Cross, completed by Reverend George Bernard during evangelistic meetings, December 1912 to January 1913. First sung as a duet here, and they tell about the hymn from penciled words and notes, the old rugged cross. What's interesting is the church where he performed that first verse fell into repa disrepair. The church was then used for a barn for a while, but recently some people realized that many of the great hymns aren't being sung in our churches. They raised some money, they restored the church, and now there's a regular hymn sing drawing people from many miles around. During the service that they have the hymn sings on afternoons, they start with a reenactment of the first time that George Bennard performed the song. They've researched some of the original shape notes and music, and they've been able to share this message of this hymn that's become popular. Part of the reason it became popular was the publisher that George Bennard worked with. Perhaps you've heard of Homer Rodehaver. Homer Rodehaver was the song leader for Billy Sunday. He's Homer Rodehaver used this hymn, The Old Rugged Cross, at many of the Billy Sunday Crusades to share with people what Jesus had done for them. Homer Rodehaver also ran the Rodehaver Publishing Company. They purchased the rights to the song for $500 from Reverend Bernard. Rhoda Haver's publishing it and spread the message of the song to where it became a favor to us over a hundred years later. This is the story of the hymn, The Old Rugged Cross. On a hill far away stood an old rugged cross, the emblem of suffering and shame. And I love that old cross where the dearest and best for a world of lost sinners was slain. So I'll cherish the old rugged cross till my trophies at last I lay down. I will cling to the old rugged cross till I exchange it some day for a crown. Oh, that old rugged cross so despised by the world has a wondrous attraction for me. For the dear Lamb of God left his glory above to bear it to dark Calvary. In the old rugged cross stained with blood so divine, such a wonderful beauty I see. For t'was on the old cross Jesus suffered and died to pardon and sanctify me. To the old rugged cross I will ever be true, its shame and reproach gladly bear. Then he'll call me some day to my home far away where his glory forever I'll share. 